What's happening everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing a video on five things I dislike about my BMW M135i. I didn't think I'd be able to make this video. Obviously when you first pick a car up, you think, wow, there's nothing wrong with this car at all. I love everything. And yeah, to be fair, I do love everything. These five things are just, I suppose you could say I'm being really picky. But you know, when you're into your cars, you obviously become very picky. So yeah, there's five things that I... <laughs> Dislike's a strong word, but we'll just go with it for now. But yeah, if you do like what you see in this video, please smash the subscribe button as we're nearly on 1,100 subs now. And yeah, the support on the car content's been unreal. I'm really enjoying making it, and by the looks of it, you're all enjoying watching it. So yeah, we'll keep going with it. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Right, so first of all, sorry for the state of the car. I uh, I need to absolutely sort myself out with keeping it clean. But yeah, a lot of you will agree with this, I think, because it's an absolute nightmare. So this bloody button here, um, that is the start-stop button. So you can actually turn start-stop off, but I absolutely hate start-stop. I don't know about you guys, but... It just does my head in and especially having an automatic gearbox is like a massive delay when you go to take off on a roundabout for example it just creates a massive delay and also it puts a lot of stress on the battery from what i've heard i don't know if, how true that is but yeah that's what i've heard so let me know um if you guys agree with point one because i know a lot of people uh, absolutely hate the start stop and uh yeah how cool does my red button look that was in the last video that we did. Oh no, in the last video, it was the one before. Um, so I'll link that in the description below if you want to go and check out the few little mods that we've done to this beautiful car. Um, so yeah, as you can see guys, the car needs a service. Um, this is sort of another, um, not a bad point because I knew what I was buying with the car, but the car doesn't have ProNav and you can tell by seeing this screen is quite small, so pro nav, I believe the screen sort of extends quite a bit. Uh, so I'd love the car to have pro nav, but one of the reasons that my car doesn't have M135i light up there is for that, I believe. So I think what I would like to do is get, well, I want to get CarPlay installed anyway, so it's not a massive deal that it doesn't have pro nav. But like, yeah, everything else is absolutely fine. Um, obviously got the upgraded steering wheel and stuff. So that's fine. Um, but I would like it to pop up saying M135 there. And I would like to get CarPlay installed. So if anyone knows someone who installs CarPlay, let me know as I think that would, one, make a great video because there's so many people I think that want to do that. And two, yeah, I'm really interested. Hopefully it won't be too much money. I'm, I'm expecting it to be quite a chunk because obviously, CarPlay is a completely new system. Uh, I've seen videos of people who sort of like, they ring a company and then they do it by plugging their computer in and stuff. But I'd probably just prefer someone to come out and do it. But yeah, if you do know anyone, let me know in the comments. And also let me know if you're happy with your entertainment system on your BMW because uh, a lot of them will obviously not have CarPlay and not even have ProNav. So yeah, let me know in the comments. So the next point guys, third point's gonna be the how basic the M135 kit looks. Um, let's say compared to a standard uh, 118 M Sport. So a lot of you will know there's only subtle differences. The first one are these canards here. I think they're called canards, correct me if I'm wrong. But the normal M Sport kit, I believe will have fog lights there. So obviously this doesn't have fog lights. Um, which I really like to be fair, so can't really fault that. It doesn't look a huge bunch of difference. Um, then coming along, we got the uh, what's that? Brushed. I want to say brushed aluminium uh, head uh, mirror caps, which really nice feature as well. A lot of cars have those, like Audis especially as well, and Golf R's. Um, then you have the M135 and M140 wheels. They're lovely. They are really nice. Um, I love the. Um, grey as well, can't fault that at all um, and then we have the dual exit exhaust 
which are a really nice touch and I think what I need to do is get a bit of an upgrade on the um, on the tips as well to really highlight that they're there but other than that let's just say I remove this badge um, and you know it's not a great deal that sort of like separates this car from just your, your M Sport 118 um, D's and I's let's say uh, I know if you know what you're looking for then yeah they are sort of quite far away um, to people who know exactly what to look for but yeah if I put like the M Sport wheels on this and took the badge off I don't think anyone would know and I kind of like that but at the same time I kind of want a bit more from it as well so obviously that's where you put the modifications on do the little things like the splitters uh, max and splitters skirt whatever um, diffuser spoiler um, I think it would really complement the car stuff like that um, but yeah that's that's another point which you know some sometimes I think yeah I like that it's very subtle um, but then other days I'm like I kind of want to put splitters and diffusers on and stuff so yeah let me know what you think do you think the car um, is better being subtle and not much difference to the M Sport or would you wish it came factory fitted with like Maxton bits for example I know that probably wouldn't happen but yeah let me know so the next point I'm going to say guys is that I am not a massive fan anymore let's say of the wheel spacing the reason I say anymore is because like I said earlier when you first get a car you're like yeah I love everything about it I wouldn't want to change anything it's perfect um, but now it has really come to my attention that this could do with some space as, as you can see there that's that's quite a gap uh, compare that to my 172 cup where the wheels are if anything slightly outside the the, uh, the arch it looks absolutely perfect not sure what i think about springs yet i don't think i need springs but let me know what you think down in the comments because you might think it needs springs but personally, I don't think it needs springs. I think I could just do with some spaces for now. Also the back wheel, not as bad as the front, but still could do with some spaces. I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, 15 mil? Uh, not really sure um, on these yet. I haven't done much research. So comment down below what you are running on yours. Um, and yeah, I'd love to see some photos so I can get some inspiration for mine. So the fifth and final thing guys, and a lot of you will probably say it's been really picky, but at the end of the day, I do love this car and it is kind of hard to find things that I really don't like about it. It's going to be the kidney grills. Now, I just think these look so outdated and hideous, especially like the one slat grills. I really want to upgrade this to the two slat grills and the chrome around the edges. I, to be honest, I just really hate chrome. So that's my issue really is the chrome. Um, and I just feel like it's clashing so much with this number plate border now. Um, every time I look at the front I just think wow that needs the kidney grills so we'll be doing that soon I'll probably just do a video on it because uh, it's probably funny watching me struggle to get those off because they're probably not as easy as everyone says but um, yeah let me know what you think of the grills down in the comments below guys because I personally really don't like them anymore I just feel like they're outdated so yeah that's gonna be it for this video guys nice short and snappy video on five things I dislike about my car uh, I've got a bobble hat on today. I would never wear bobble hats, but it's absolutely freezing and I got one free in work So I thought I'll try it out and yeah, I really like it to be fair uh, Yeah, it's so cold now though. What's it saying on you? Uh, it is One degree at the minute, but it feels a lot colder than that um, Apparently it's gonna be six degrees oh, minus six degrees next week. So yeah, but um, Let me know what you think of those five reasons down in the comments below guys. I'd love to hear what you think um, you know about the five things I've said in particular but there's, if there's any things that you don't like and you think should have been in this video then comment those down below as well and yeah I'd love to hear that and see if I agree or disagree with what you say so yeah cheers for watching guys please smash the subscribe button if you did enjoy and I'll see you in the next one